on guys welcome to this second video from this YouTube mini series so if you didn't watch the first video I suggest you go do that link is in the bottom on the description we talked about macros um, what they mean and we kind of broke it down kind of like a basic video so if you haven't watched that one go do that now and then come back to this video if you have welcome to the second video and today we are talking about um, we're trying to figure out the calories you need for your goal, okay? So the first thing we need to do is to calculate your BMR, okay? So this stands for basal metabolic rate, okay? So this means that this is going to be the amount of calories that you would need per day to survive. Um, so pretty much if you just did nothing, if you laid on a bed all day, this number would be the total amount of calories you would need to survive, okay? And all you need to do is you need to know four things, okay? You need to know, number one, your age, number two, your height, your gender, and then your weight. And you should pretty much know these, I would hope, anyway. Um, so what you're gonna do is there's a link in the description. It's a BMR calculator, so you put all this information in and you would get a number, okay? So I put my info, and this is the number that I got. I got 1,930, okay? So once you have this number, we need to do another calculation to figure out the amount of calories you would need. Okay, so the next step is with the BMR number that you got. So mine was, remember, we got 1,930 with my stats. So you're going to um, multiply this number by your activity level, okay? So I'm gonna go through, there's five different activity levels. Number one is gonna be little to no exercise. So meaning a person, if you're very sedentary, you don't really do much at all, um, you're gonna multiply this number, the number that you get, by 1.2, okay? The next one down is going to be a little bigger, so it's 1.2, this is 1.375, and this is lightly active, okay? So this is going to be one to three times a week. You're going to maybe go to the gym, so maybe if you're a beginner, you're not really taking it too seriously right now. You're kind of, you know, taking things lightly. You would multiply your BMR by this number, okay? The next level is going to be like a moderate, okay? So this means that you're working out three to five times a week, you know, you're pretty serious, um, but you're still not, you know, you're still not doing a crazy amount of work. But three to five times a week, I'm probably gonna be in this level right here. So the next one is gonna be 1.725, and this is very active. So you're, you take your workouts very seriously, you, you train six to seven times a week, okay? you're very dedicated, you're very serious about lifting, this would be for you, okay? And the last one is going to be 1.9, and this is extremely active or like you're a professional. So this would be you're training 7 to 12 times a week, sometimes 2 a days. So this is going to be for like professional athletes, um, people that are very, very active, very serious about what they do, you know professional bodybuilders, things like that, professional athletes. Um, so once you kind of figure out the level that you're at, um, and once you've done the previous step before this, which is calculating your BMR, you're gonna multiply it by the number. So like I said, I feel like right now, I'm gonna be at this level, moderate, three to five times a week. Um, so I'm gonna multiply this number by 1.55 and we'll see what we get, okay? Okay, so this is what I got. So my BMR number times the activity level and I got 2,991 calories, okay? So this means that with the activity that I do, um, you know, about three to five times a week, I would need to consume 2,991 calories to kind of maintain my body weight right now. So I wouldn't lose fat or I wouldn't gain muscle if I ate this amount of calories. And this is pretty accurate because I know that um, I've been on 3,000 calories and I've stayed and I've maintained my weight. So, so now that you have this number, what you're gonna do, if you want to add muscle, if you want to gain size, you're going to add 300 calories 
to this number. Okay, so if I was going to bulk, if I wanted to bulk up, I would add this to that, and it's going to be 3,000, what is it, 3,291 calories. Okay, so that's the amount of calories I would need to eat per day to bulk up and gain muscle. Okay, then if you want to, if your um, goal was to lose fat, lose weight, you would subtract from the number that you got, okay, right here, you would take away 500 calories, okay? So if I was wanted to cut weight, if I wanted to, you know, prepare for a photo shoot or a competition, uh, something like that, I would have to eat 2,400 calories. And 91 calories okay to cut weight um, and I know that this for me is a little too much I wouldn't cut by 500 calories but if you're above 15% body fat I would you know suggest cutting um, 500 calories but if you want to play it safe I would cut 300 um, calories per day and then if you're not losing you know a pound a week bump it down to 400 calories. If you're still not losing it, I would go down to 500, okay? You don't really want to cut um, calories too much too early, okay? And that's basically it, okay? So that figures out your calories. And again, this is just, you have to remember, this is just a general guideline, okay? It's not going to be like an exact number at you know, at first, okay? So if you figure out your macros and you figure out your calories, and you, you follow that for a week or two and you feel like you don't, if you feel like you're not losing weight or if you feel like you're not gaining enough weight, kind of balance the calories a little bit. Maybe add a hundred more, maybe take a hundred away, depending on your goals. Again, this is just a general guideline to give you an idea of how many calories you need, okay? All this information is going to be down below in the description. So all the numbers that I went through previously, um, they're all going to be down there. The um, BMR calculator um, link is going to be down below too. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. We're going to break down your calories and we're going to figure out what your macros are going to look like with the calories that you have. So with my bulk calories, I'm going to break it down and show you how to um, calculate your macros based on the calories that we got today, okay? So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, everybody. Goodbye.